And hello to you from Molyneux here in the English West Midlands. My name's Derek Ray, and delighted to have alongside me, as usual on these occasions, Stuart Robson. And looking forward to bringing you action from the Premier League coming right up. It's Wolverhampton Wanderers up against Aston Villa. Thanks, Derek, as always. This should be a good game. Great atmosphere inside the stadium. We've got two teams full of quality, some interesting matchups, and two coaches that want to play an attractive brand of football. What more could you ask for? Johnson and number 10, Phil Foden. And here's the Wolves lineup. Well, it's a 4 3 3 formation with a centre forward and two wingers. So it's important that the midfield players give support to the striker whenever the ball goes wide. They can't allow him to be isolated. Here's how the lineup looks for Aston Villa. Diego Carlos plays alongside Tyrone Mings in central defence. And in this tactical setup, they have just the one player in attack. And the contest begins. Hickey. Mateus Nunes. Aaron Hickey. And what can they do to stop him running at them? Gonzalo Gedge. It's there for him. Oh, good work to deny the opportunity. Ezequiel Palacios. And now Coutinho. So for Wolves, well, it's all about an improvement. I say that because they lost in the last game against Liverpool. How do you think this one will go, Stuart? Well, I think the 3-1 scoreline was a fair reflection of the game. Today they need to... Re oh! Well, here it is again, and that's the perfect volley, isn't it? He strikes it so well. What an excellent finish. And the ball moving again. What sort of response will we see from them now? And space here on the flank. Oh, there it is! A back and forth sort of match. Now they're level again. The lead lasted nearly minutes. Well, here it is again. He goes past his marker so easily with just a drop of the shoulder. And the finish is just as good. That's an excellent goal. is running again at one all. Just like to send a special message to Tony Rankin today. Happy birthday. That's Tony. useful play. He read the situation defensively and did his job. Aaron Hickey. Johnson. Moving it forward. Giving them a different option by moving in field. Textbook defending inside the box. Coutinho.
And the flag does go up. Must have been close. Johnson. And he takes it on! And no way through. Ezequiel Palacios. Jonathan David. Oh, he's really opened them up here. And he's gone for power. So close to finding the net. Neymar moving the ball forward with purpose and Neymar good looking cross and problem solved for now Coutinho. And plenty of room in the wide area. Well, it was a promising avenue of attack, but the momentum has been halted. And you wouldn't be surprised to see the card handed out. And following the infringement, a caution. Yeah, no surprise there. That was always going to be a booking. Aston Villa regaining possession. He's got the right idea with that pass. That's all they can conjure for now. David. And the flag is up. Offside. Well, that's just a lack of awareness. He was clearly in an offside position. He's taken on his opponent here. Neymar! A goal here! Giving his team precisely what they were looking for. Now he deserves to celebrate it. Well, just look at this again. The speed of counter-attack is so impressive. And then he almost mishits this, to be honest. You just wonder if that deceived the keeper and caught him off guard. Either way, they all count the same. So on with the match. 2-1 is the scoreline. What's going to happen next? Plenty of options. He's using his strength to good effect. But just like that, possession changes hands. Space afforded him. A fine reading of the situation. Making progress. Can he play it in? And intercepted it. The referee spotted the infringement and it will be a free kick in a position of genuine menace. Taken free kick, 
but no end product. Well, he has such good technique. I expected him to score there, but it was still a great effort. Schouten. A real opening now. And a goal to square the game. Edge of the seat stuff. Well, you have to ask, where's the defending? The keeper is completely exposed, but he still had to finish it, and he did it really well. It's a good goal. Well, another equaliser. What a topsy-turvy game this has been. Well, that's how to beat your opponent. The cross is on. Neymar. Takes the shot. And the body in the way. Schouten. The referee's verdict is three additional minutes. Jordi Schouten. And it's Tavernier. Takes some progress with the ball at his feet. He takes aim. And the referee has pointed to the spot. Penalty given. Missed to put them in front once more. And a goal! He was composure personified and he's done his job from the spot. Well, as you can see from the replay, the keeper tries to read the penalty, but he's sent the wrong way and it ends up looking a very easy finish. And there we have it. The referee blows the whistle and the Wolves players can get ready for the manager's half-time team tour, knowing that they've got a bit of sorting out to do. Well, we talked about their scoring record, but the hardest thing as a coach is to get a team to defend and attack equally as well. And they haven't got that right today. Great going forward, far too open at the back. Well, they've got things going again here, and I wonder what kind of second half we have in store for us. Coutinho, very alert defending to put a stop to the chance. And the referee says corner kick. And fed in by Coutinho. Any goalkeeper would accept corner kick deliveries like that every day. And Wolves in a position of menace. Could be! Oh, there it is! A back and forth sort of match. Now they're level again. The lead lasted merely minutes. Let's look at this again, Derek, because the transition when the ball changes hands is so quick. And then the shot is emphatic. He strikes it with such power, the keeper has no time to react. What a good finish. Neither side shy about shooting in this match. The referee's letting it go as they keep the ball. Can he put them in front? Well, tremendous work from the keeper to avert the danger. Well, you can't take your eyes off this one, because there you have it. Plenty of chances for both teams in what has been a really good game so far. And they continue to advance, and a lot of options here. Oh, commanding goalkeeping. Well, this is a big moment, and don't these fans know it.
Let's see about the delivery. Well, thumps clear. This is the home of live football, EA TV. And how about this for live action coming up? The Champions League quarter. Gets! And a goal to re-establish their advantage. Just look at the celebrations. Well, just watch this again. It's a really good goal, but it's no surprise, is it? They've been in complete control here. And he keeps going. Oh, he's gone for goal. And the opinion of the referee, that is a penalty. to extend their lead here. In it goes! A well-taken penalty! Well, as you can see, the keeper makes no effort in the end. He was hoping it would be struck down the middle, but it's an easy finish, really. Scoreline we see all that often. 5 3. Coutinho. And they stopped them in their tracks. Foden. Well, make sure you join us for more Premier League action coming your way. It's Aston Villa taking on Liverpool. That should be a tasty encounter. Plenty of quality in those two sides. Certainly one to enjoy. Well, the outcome is a free kick here. Both managers deciding this is the time to change things around. Both teams going to the bench. Well, they had a decent reading of that ball in. Counter-attacking very much an option. A real opening now. And collected tidily. He had plenty to think about. Well, that's one for them to pursue. No real challenge for the goalkeeper. Well, not great for the keeper. Twenty minutes remaining. Well, visionary passing. Opportunity, maybe. An important challenge, but they must remain organised. An offside by the merest of margins. And a substitution in the offing. To be replaced by... Number 14, Andy Nketiah. Good work to win the ball back high up the pitch. Foden. Oh, he's through here. Majestic piece of goalkeeping. Well, he loves the big moments, doesn't he? And he's proved it again there. Great goalkeeping. Well, they've been getting the substitute ready, and now they will make the personnel change. Let's see about the delivery. Oh, super header, but the goalkeeper was up to the task. And the corner has been given.
Villa recovering possession well. And the counter looks on here. Options available. And Kessia could pull one back here. Well, he stumped it out of there without much fuss. Joel Linton. Joel Linton. And then with a real chance. Oh, couldn't beat the goalkeeper. And really should have been able to. And support available. But nothing comes of it. Good defending it was. And a good-looking ball. Can he get one back? He can! And who's to say there's not enough time for them to level matters? It would be quite the story. Just look at this again. The combination play in the top third of the field was so precise. And the finish is clinical. He just makes it look so easy, doesn't he? And I must say, I'd have to go back quite a few years to remember the last time I covered a game with a scoreline of 5-4. Well, you can absolutely sense the frustration growing in the opposition camp. They can't get near the ball. Nuri. It's with Joel Linton. Phil Foden. Joel Linton. They really look after the ball when they have it. Well, for power, 10 out of 10. For placement, maybe 8. Well, they've decided to make a change. showing a willingness to attack as they must given the circumstances time running out this could be the equalizer but no when your goalkeeper comes up with a save like that late in the game you have cause to be thankful well that could be a key moment they have to take those sort of chances they won't get too many more but let's credit the goalkeeper oh good looking run can he finish them off a shot from miles out and a body in the way well, they'll be looking to add to their advantage from this corner played over oh off the line high class defending right on the goal line and the referee blows the whistle, and it is officially a win for Wolves. Their fans are going to be happy with this. Yes, Derek, there wasn't much in it, to be honest. Really competitive game with chances at both ends, but they probably just about edged it overall and deserved the result in the end.